Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to download the river data with Google Earth Engine. So let's get started. So now let me explain about this data. Let me type in the search section as river like here. So now we're going to click this option called WWF Hydroshed Free Flowing River Network version 1. Click this. So now there is a description about the WWF Hydroshed Free Flowing River Network version 1. So there is a few description about about this data. So there is Hydroshed is a mapping product that provides the hydrographic information for regional and global scale application in a consistent form. It offers a suite of georeference data sets at various scales including river network, watershed boundaries, drainage direction, flow accumulation and Hydroshed's is based on elevation data obtained by in 2000 by NASA shuttle radar topographic mission that is SRTM DEM. So this data set provides a polyline that represents a river network derived from and the consistent with Hydroshed data set. The data are based on 15 arc seconds resolution raster data. So now let me copy this code that is EE feature collection WWF Hydroshed version 1 free flowing river. We are going to copy this. Now let me close this. So here you can able to visualize. I will show you how to download the free flowing river network for any study location in the world using Google Earth Engine. So now to let us import this data into our Earth Engine. So to import our data into our Earth Engine that is our river data we define a variable called river equals to w dot feature collection wwf hydrosheds version 1 free flowing rivers. So now to we gonna filter with the specific study region. So now you can choose any part of your world as your study region. So now in my case I have selected this only the Chennai is a part of my study region. For that I have created a, a polygon around the study region. Now let me show you how to create a polygon. So now let me delete this. So now we're gonna click this option called uh, so now we're gonna click this option called uh, draw a rectangle. So now let me draw let me select that. So I've selected it. So now let me draw over my study region. So now let me drag this. So now I've selected uh, this entire part of uh, this part of the area as my study region. So which is indicated in this color. So now you can able to visualize here we created a polygon with four vertices. So now let us rename this uh, geometry as a study area. So now have the defined as a variable study area the polygon. It is a four vertices represents study area represents this polygon with four vertices. So now we define dot filter bound study area study area represents this particular this particular polygon. So now you can able to visualize here next next we're going to add our uh, river layer into our earth engine for that we define map dot add layer river river represents our river data that is our this particular variable and next the curly brackets refers to our default visualization parameter and we're going to output the layer name as a river so for that we define as a river to center this layer we define map dot center object and river here represents our layer and with a specific zoom level of 9. So next to download this portic so next to download this river data we basically defined as a uh, export dot table dot to drive river represents our river data so this specific variable and similarly we are given a description as a river network for this task and it will be stored in the river uh, downloads folder in our drive so now let us run this code go to the option called run script and click run script so now you can able to visualize the layers are getting loaded here so you can able to visualize it now so we can uh, clearly able to view that our river uh, data has been uh, comp entirely covered the study region so you can clearly able to view here so now let me turn off this uh, layer that is our study area so now let me turn to satellite mode so you can able to clearly able to visualize it so it was more clear here so layers here yeah. so the layers are now loaded so now you can able to view here we have uh, we have extracted our river data only in our, st in our study area. So you can able to clearly able to visualize that. 
So now next step, we're gonna download this particular of our uh, river data to our Google Drive. For that, go to the task section here, and you can able to visualize here. There's an unsubmitted task called River Network. So now let me make some changes. I will add as a River Network final. So now I have made some changes. River Network final. So now let me uh, reset this and run this. Yeah, the river data is loaded here. So now let me save this. So now uh, let us go to the task section and unsubmitted task. Click this option called run. So now a new window pops up, popped up saying initiate table export. So now the task name is river network and drive folder. It's going to save in the drive folder called river downloads. And we're going to uh, file format. We're going to choose specifically is KML. So KML is a pretty good file format. So make sure that you save in the KML file format and export as a KML file format. So now click this option called run. Now, uh, now we can able to visualize in our task section, our river network uh, final is running. And now we can able to visualize our submitted task, river network final is completed. It is completed in less than one minute to exporting to our Google Drive. So now let me click this option called open and drive. Now in the drive section you can able to visualize the river network final KML has been uh, available here. So now we're going to download this KML file. So now let me select uh, my file location. So the download is being completed. So now let me open an uh, arc map. So this is our arc map. We're going to uh, we're going to add our uh, river KML file into our arc map. So click this option called arc toolbox. So arc toolbox is available here. So arc toolbox is available here. So in that we're going to click this option called conversion tools. So in conversion tools we're going to select from KML. So we're going to convert our KML to a layer. So we have exported our river data as a KML file format. So now we're going to convert it as a layer. So click this tool. KML to layer. Now choose your input KML file. Now let me select that. So now let me select my river network final and click open. Now let me select my output file location. So now I have selected my output file location. Now click OK to convert to KML to a layer. So now KML to layer has been completed. So now go to the table of content section where you can able to visualize this polyline. Let me select the color. So currently it is in white color. We select this particular color and click OK. So now we can able to visualize our uh, can able to visualize our river data. So for our study region, we have selected an earth engine. Now let me show you that. So we have selected this part of our study region. And this part of the river data has been exported to our Google Drive from our Google Drive. So now we can able to visualize in our arc map. So now let me add some study area. So now we can able to visualize. So here, this is my part of my study area where the river data has been. We are we're gonna extract it. So in this way, you can extract the river data from our Google Earth engine. So now let me get back to our Earth engine. So now in this video, I have shown you how to download a free flowing river data with Google Earth Engine and I've shown you how to uh, export our river data to our Google Drive and visualize in our Arc environment, ArcGIS environment. So thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.